Hello everyone, uh, my name is Jordan. Thank you for joining me on my channel here at uh, Talk Out Talk Straight. Um, today we're gonna react to what has been transpiring in our country. For the last couple of weeks, we have been in our election period and there's a lot of things that has happened throughout our period of election. So on Sunday, there was an incident between scrutinies of candidates. So there's this report on ABC Radio Australia. So I'm just going to play you the video and you guys see it. There are growing concerns that PNG's election won't be completed on time. Legally, the majority of results need to be handed up by this Friday. The Electoral Commissioner says there's no ability to extend that deadline and he's now directed counting officials to begin tallying votes 24 hours a day. Unfortunately, some of the violence and unrest that we saw during the polling period of this election has continued into the counting period. In the middle of Port Moresby yesterday afternoon, people were attacking one another with machetes. Bystanders in the shopping precinct filmed the men chasing and cutting people outside one of the city's vote counting venues. Police are yet to formally comment, but I've been told the fight started with a dispute between candidate scrutineers over ballot boxes. Security forces cleared the area and made some arrests in the aftermath, but there are concerns the dispute could reignite. It's the latest in a spate of election-related violence. Thousands of people have been displaced by fighting in the Highlands during the election period, and the death toll there is unclear. Other violent crimes in the region are further stretching security forces. A tribal fight has reignited in Enga province, which has seen more than 20 people killed. Extra army personnel are being sent in. The latest shocking incident in Enga is nine women have been held captive and tortured, accused of sorcery after a prominent businessman unexpectedly died. Police on the ground say five have now been rescued, but four were killed. Despite the incredibly concerning violent incidents that we've been seeing in PNG in recent days and weeks, it seems the majority of politicians are firmly focused on their own political future. Well, we're seeing newly elected MPs going into camps where they'll be forming coalitions in a bid to try to become the new government. There were fights breaking out all over the city from, from the downtown to the suburbs to everywhere in the city. There was a big eruption of fights everywhere, mainly because of the voting tallies and all that. And um, the fight erupted within Northeast electorate. So Northeast is a part of Port Mosby city, which is, which is a big electorate in Port Mosby. It is separate from other, there's like, we have three electorates in Port Mosby. So there's Port Mosby Northeast, Port Mosby South, Port Mosby Northwest. So the fight occurred in Port Mosby Northeast. Around eight o'clock, nine o'clock, there were fights breaking all over the city. One of our pastors um, quote something, and we're just gonna take a look at it right now. So the quote says, spirit of tribalism has taken over our city. Trust, let's war against these spirits. A weapon of our warfare are mighty in law, in, in God. So that's from uh, 2 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 4. For the weapon of our warfare are not carnal, which is, it, it means not like physical, like bush knife, or guns, all that, but mighty in God for pulling down strongholds. Our weapons are not within these earthly things, huh? they're in God. As I talked to you this morning, the headlines in post Korea. 26th of July 2022. Um, in the front page, it's, as you can see up on the up on the screen right now, city in fear. Security forces have taken control of NCD streets. And in our other paper, and national, national, the nationals, as you can see on the screen, war zone PNZ. So that's the headlines. What us as Christians we should do? Pray, pray for your families. It's my experience in voting the Northeast. Supposed to vote with the other electorates, the three, three other electorates, must be South and must be Northwest. But we didn't vote until the, the next week after on a Monday. 
so I, I, I went through the voting place. It was really packed. There was a lot of um, opportunities there too and a lot of people there. And I mean, apparently I, I voted I voted for my candidates. And after that, I went to work and, um, and the, the polling still continued. And it was, it was a bit okay. It was just... just um, a lot of tense in there because people were not happy because of their names. It was not on the common roll and all that. And people were not happy with how they delayed the elections. So we spoke to some of the concerned citizens of Papua New Guinea and here's what they have to say. Hello, me at Miluki Mosem. Okadablo election is wrong. I mean, right, wrong, you know, right. So Miluki now election, you know, call all this like anyway. Plan the lot of line, only like it was a good leader must come up. My name is Mimi. I am a citizen of PNG, obviously, and um, I'm, uh, I haven't voted, although my name is in the common roll, uh, because of um, due to the violence of uh, 2022 general elections. It is like a repetition of the previous elections, uh, 2017 and 2012. But however. For these uh, 2022 general elections, I've seen that the violence has, it has escalated. We can see obviously in the up in the highlands, especially in the province of uh, Enga, in Kopiam Ambon district. Because the Comoral hasn't been updated since the last, um, probably the last census. So what should we do now for the national capital district is to update the common role for the next um, election so like everyone will be everyone 18 years and above will be eligible to vote election commission have like five players so stop nothing and what the question is what were they doing the other thing that made me like stress him is that um in terms of um, voting some people talk about more got name like common role but they weren't able to to vote uh, that could be because um, um, of the uh, ongoing violence that is happening, uh, security, and um, also because um, or candidate by more, uh, maybe all say let's say a household. Don't black candidate come give money lo papa. So papa kisi money. I'm talking mama nolga tapiki nini lo ba voti this la candidate, which is which is I mean already I mean I mean violate him or I mean I mean. Emi, Emi, not allow him all family member blow him, blow exercise him is like their democratic right blow. So that's some of the concerned uh, citizens of Papua New Guinea, and as for us as Christians, at this time and at this stage, we have to go in our private time and pray about this nation. I appalled the mothers out there, the prayer warriors out there, the spiritual leaders out there that they've con constantly praying and upholding our nation. As for us as individuals, uh, as Christians, as believers, and even even if you if you if you don't attend church, but you do believe there is a God out there, um, it is best at this time to pray and ask God to cover our our nation, our community, our our people uh, in this time. And that reminds me of um, a scripture. It says in Romans thirteen verse one, everyone must submit himself to the governing authorities governing authority what's that the government the law and order police force defense force the government of the day for there is no authority except that which god has established so the authorities that exist have been established by god everything that is happening around our country and every politician has been voted in and has been in the parliament house it's because of God that established him or her inside the parliament. He allows, let them, even, 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 you, you can say, oh, Jordan, um, some of these leaders are corrupt, but God, God has a plan, and he allows them to stay in a certain period of time. So another scripture he says in Proverbs, let me just pull it up, you can see on the screen right now. When the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice, and when the wicked breath rule, the people mourn. When we vote right people into there, people rejoice, people are happy. You may say, well, how, how God may allow this to happen? But God always has a plan. And always remember, that God is still on the throne. And he has a plan for this country. Even though there's a lot of things people are saying right now. 
the one there's one quote about uh, William Capris. He, he said that one day this country will be run by thieves and thugs. That's men saying. Remember, there's men saying what God has said. This country, as our Prime Minister James Marabe already proclaimed, even though you, you might think that oh Jordan he's he's, he's no good, he's no he's, he's a he's a he's no good leader. But God uses him to say the words of all time. One of the richest black Christian nation on earth. What, what, what as as for us as Christians and as for people that you don't go to church but you still believe there's a God. You always remember that God is still in control. God is still on the throne. You guys remember and when there was COVID and all that and the outside centers around overseas, they were saying PNG will be like devastated and blown. And many people will die. It's men say, but what God has done to our, our country is protect us. Anything about this election and these things happening, these are just small things God allowing it to happen so we may pass through it and go to our promised land. It also says in First Peter 5 verse 7, Cast all your burdens upon him for he cares for you. Everything you're going through right now, everything that we're going through this country, we have to cast it upon God. We have to go kneel down before him and pray. Pray for our country and seek God for his guidance in our lives, in the lives of the people out there, the authorities, the policemen, the, the army men, the water, they're out there patrolling the streets and all that, that we have to pray and cover them and cover us. As I said it already, our, our weapon of warfare is not calm, it's in, my, it's in God mighty. As I finish, um, my encouragement to Christians and believers out there in Papua New Guinea, and even even if you're not a believer and you you don't go to I mean you don't go to church, but you believe there's there's a God out there and you saw Papa God is stuff and He cares for us and He loves us and He sent His Son to die on the cross for us. We have to go to our knees and pray to God to protect and guide our country through these tough times. That's the only thing we can do. What else have we can do? It's not like in the movies. We have to go to God and pray and cover our nation at this time. Thank you for joining me on this video again. First episode of Talk Out Talk Straight about what has transpired and happened in our country right now. Always remember that God is still in control. God is still on the throne. And God has a plan for each and every one of us and has a plan for this country.